Hey everyone, welcome back to another Penny Stock video, and I have a really cool one for today, guys. It's going to be RWGI. Uh, this one's super nice. It's a low floater, so it does trade a bit volatile. It has some big spreads, but I really think this could do a huge move. Let's take a look at why. Uh, so this is a cannabis company, which I realize that uh, cannabis companies did fall out of favor for a bit, although the market's really trending back into cannabis lately uh, we've seen in small caps world a few movers such as Tilray even Aurora Cannabis has gotten a little bit of interest again uh, you know various old names from the big marijuana boom are kind of making a little bit of a comeback but RWGI uh, holds its ground in its own right you know a cannabis stock or not it has a lot of really interesting things going on with it so let's jump into what that actually is uh, first and foremost, we'll take a look at the float here, like we always do, the share structure. And you can see it's a tiny float, right? We always look at held at DTC, and there's only 11 million share float here. So it's a really, really small float. I mean, this float can get locked up quite easily. And I think the float's already pretty much locked up, because we're going to take a look at the chart in a second. And the chart is super bullish, and I'll explain that in just a moment. But first, before we take a look at the chart, I do want to show you the news the stock had recently, December 27th. This was the first news since July, and this is really significant news. So they acquired this uh, company, Parabola Management, uh, which is a licensed cannabis company in Costa Mesa, California. And so they already have an open facility, fully operational. They have their licenses, all of that good stuff. So this is an immediate uh, revenue generating acquisition. But it says here, in addition to this acquisition, our shareholders can expect in the coming weeks that we will complete the acquisition of additional licensed cannabis distribution hubs and distribution contracts that will have 2024 revenues meet our stated goals of $7 million annually. So that's really significant revenue, obviously, for an OTC company. A lot of these companies, as we know, uh, are usually either pre-revenue or they're doing maybe a couple million. Uh, but these guys are aiming for seven million annually starting this year so that's a really significant uh, revenue projection there but let's take a look at a little uh, closer detail of what they have going on here because they have a really cool business that's uh, one of their subsidiaries here and that's this here is brothersbuds.com and so this I think could actually be huge uh, this is really what catches my interest here you know obviously Having uh, licensed cannabis facilities operational in California is great for revenue production. But if we're looking at what's like our unicorn, what's the thing that can make this blow up and do a giant business? I think it's this. I think it's this, Brother Buds. And what this is, is it's actually a weed cannabis delivery service. So they're delivering uh, weed slash cannabis products. Uh, right now it's going to be California-based, Southern California. Uh, but I, I would assume they have plans for national expansion if they can get this going. But you can see they have a really large like selection of products here. And it all gets delivered. You can see free delivery, order minimums at only $30, contactless delivery, speedy service, delivery time around 45 minutes or less. So why do I think this is going to be massive? Well, this really reminds me of when GoPuff just got started. So GoPuff started around my area, which is the Philadelphia area. Uh, and initially, they were really just an alcohol delivery service. And I even know uh, someone that invested into GoPuff in like the seed round, like the very early beginnings of GoPuff. And he's a very, very wealthy man now because of that. So fun little story there. But we can take a look here. And GoPuff in 2021, GoPuff generated $2 billion in revenue and an evaluation of $15 billion. So that's what these delivery services can accomplish if they get off the ground. And it's really impressive. And so far, there's really zero competition in the cannabis delivery space. So I think Brother Buds, I mean, if they get this thing going and this becomes the GoPuff of weed, you know, this could genuinely become billions and billions of dollars in value. 
So this is what I'm looking at that really attracts me to RWGI. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal business model. I know uh, some independent businesses near me that have had a lot of success with this model. Of course, they haven't really scaled it up yet. So whoever I think scales this first is going to be super, super big. Uh, obviously, RWGI being a public company because they have access to capital raises, I think they could be first to market with a scaled version of this product. So this to me is the most exciting thing going on with RWGI. I love the concept. I think it can be absolutely huge. And it's proven that it can be absolutely huge, right? Because GoPuff did basically what they're doing just with, with liquor instead of weed. So really, really like that. Now let's take a look at the chart because the chart has a super bullish setup here. And what is that? Well, we've talked about this on a couple setups in videos before. This is a really rare uh, but also extremely bullish technical indicator, and that's called a golden cross. And so that's what happens when we have uh, a shorter time frame moving average cross above a longer time frame moving average. So in this case, our orange line here is the 200 MA, and our purple line is the 50 MA. And you can see that the 50 MA has just crossed above the 200 MA, giving us our golden cross. So a golden cross, it's one of the most bullish possible uh, indicators that you can use really it obviously does not occur often just because of the nature of the setup right it's not it can often take years for a golden cross to develop uh, in this case if we look you know the last time this happened was back in March of 2022 that we had a golden cross so it's taken over a year to come again and what happened last time it had a golden cross well it went from where it is now seven cents about about six seven cents and it went from all the way to 15 cents so that was the last time we had a golden cross and the share structure was the exact same back then or at least the float right was the exact same back then so here we are again right back where we were we're at six seven cents range we just had our golden cross which tells us based on the historical chart we could very well see 15 cents or more here uh because if we look at the chart right the chart tells our story and you know, if you're wondering, whoa, where's he getting 15 cents from? Well, it's right here. It's right here on the chart. And that's what I'm going by, guys. When I look for my levels, when I look for my targets, that's what I'm looking at is the chart. The chart's going to tell us. And so right here, it tells us exactly what to look for is we want to look for another move back to these highs because that's exactly what happened the last time the stock had the golden cross. So, you know, obviously, has the stock moved up from bottom? Yes. Uh, but look at this this uh, volume here. It's pretty obvious that all of the shares in this range have been scooped up. And it didn't take a lot of money to scoop up these shares. And it's nice to see, right? Because we should form a higher base up here around that six, seven cent range. And I think after just a bit more consolidation in this range, we very, very, very likely could see another breakout to the upside based on this technical setup. So between the fact that they have what I consider something that could be a unicorn business, and they have more acquisitions coming that they're going to announce in the next couple weeks, and they're targeting big revenue, and they have the Golden Cross, this is setting up to be a really, really bullish swing trade. Definitely keep an eye on it. Obviously, we've seen with these low floats before that they can have really parabolic moves to the upside. So that's what we're hoping for here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.